It is a North American first. Republic Service's new polymer center has been in operation for more than two months now. Yeah, the plant is designed to break down, clean, and then shred plastics that end up in our recycling bins. Those plastics will then be sold and then made into new containers that could be recycled repeatedly. Fox 5's Les Criffiton has a story that you'll only see here on Fox 5. This plastic water bottle is part of the recycling process that is being performed here at the brand new polymer center that Republic Services opened last December. This plant is making sure that these bottles stay as bottles. This has been sorted, now it's going to be ground down. You are looking at used plastic water bottles that made it from your recycling bin to this North Las Vegas polymer plant. In a matter of hours at this state-of-the-art facility, these plastic containers and their attached caps and rings will be sorted, checked for contaminants, shredded, then bagged and sold to beverage company suppliers who will create food-grade new bottles. When it comes to plastics, there are some misconceptions that only 5% of plastic gets recycled, and there might be a layer of truth to that, but when we look at specifically what you can recycle curbside, bottles and jugs actually have a recycling rate closer to 30%. Meaning we as consumers throw away 7 out of every 10 bottles we use. Bigger containers like milk jugs and colored plastics are also in the mix. These containers are separated from water bottles at the plant. This makes it easier for colored plastics to be sorted with the same color batch. We're color sorting them. So what that means is that when you drop in an orange Tide jug in your recycling bin, we can separate those like colors out and we can create a drop-in solution for someone, theoretically, to make a brand new orange detergent bottle again. Once sorted and ground down, from here there's a two-stage drying process. Finally, the flakes are shredded and bagged and ready to be sold. For the colored plastics, they will be baled by color. Bottle caps and rings are also put through a similar process and sold separately. Walter says the plastics moving through this plant is from the western United States. He expects the plant to process about 100 million pounds of plastic annually to start. We have capacity to potentially take more in the future. As for waste, Walter says there is very little, mostly residual liquids and labels. Even the water they use to clean their resins is recycled several times before it's filtered and sent back to the water district. So this is the plastic bottle you'll throw into your recycling bin. This plastic bottle then ends up at this plant where it is sorted, it is chipped, cleaned, and turned into this so that once again, this plastic can become this. Les Griffin, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.